Hey everybody, welcome to the armory today. Boy, do I have a surprise. So, I got a package in the mail. Of course, to my local FFL. And this is the first piece that I unwrapped. And if you would remember, this is the P-14 drill and parade rifle. And man, that barrel must have been stuck on there because you can see they had to machine a groove up to the the receiver to try to loosen it. But here you can see the plug that they welded into the chamber. And you can even see down in there, you can see the plug. Yeah, <clears throat> pretty interesting. <clears throat> so, here's the old barrel. Still has the... Uh, barrel band on it and still has the front side on it uh i gotta take these off but the real prize in that package was the barreled action and man they did a beautiful job on this new barrel now this barrel is done to the uh, military profile uh, it's marked 303 British McGowan barrels they did a gorgeous job on this I gotta say I'm really super happy with this um, all the bluing and everything turned out beautiful they did blue the bolt handle um, well yeah, it happens uh, not too terribly concerned about it it is a former drill and parade rifle so uh even though bluing the bolt handle is not correct uh i'm okay with it it looks really fantastic so let's look at the stock that i've got for this now the original stock looked to be in good condition but as it was stripped down there were a lot of really bad cracks and the wood was shrinking and deteriorating so i went and found another really good again drill and parade rifle stock that is nice and solid and this should do just beautifully for what we need so Let's start taking uh, parts apart. Let's dig into our box. Uh, I've got the box of goodies that came off of the rifle. So let's start uh, putting this rifle together. And this is going to be really, really fun. So I'll catch you in a few minutes. All right. First up, we remove the front sight from the barrel. Uh... It's held on with just a pin and just pressed onto the barrel. But an interesting thing that I have not seen before, it actually, the barrel is keyed for the front sight. And that seems really smart to me. That's kind of an interesting little uh, uh, way to do that. So, with that off, we can now remove the uh, barrel band. Uh, for the stock and the barrel is stripped so with that let's get to assembling the barreled action into the new wood stock all right so we got the barreled action into the stock do not forget this little collar right here it holds the rear upper handguard in place but this is actually really really nice i'm super happy with this so we're going to get the upper hand guards in place and finish tightening down the uh, hand guard retainers and i think we're getting really close to being done with this so let me get the upper hand guards ready and we'll see what that looks like all right i got the upper hand guards on and i gotta tell you this rifle is looking beautiful now this rear upper hand guard where it slips into this collar right here i did have to grind just a little bit off the edges 
Um, the handguard was a little bit bigger than the uh, than the collar it slips into, but a little bit of grinding and she slipped right in. And I got to tell you, this is absolutely fantastic. I really love the old distressed rustic look of uh, World War One and World War Two rifle stocks. I mean, these really been there and done that rifles all over it's marked drill and parade that is another thing that i like i really like rescuing these old rifles really like making them uh shoot making them functional and man to bring back a plugged barrel a drill and parade rifle back to a shooting rifle really that's that's what drives me I love this so I did not install the front sight um, I've got it set aside uh, I'm going to install the front sight but for right now I'm going to use the bad ace no drill um, scope mount for the p14 we're gonna put just a little optic on it um, my eyes aren't so well, even with the best sights. So, um, no iron sights for me personally, but um, saving all the parts and everything so that uh, the rifle is still able to be put back to original configuration with no permanent altercations. And that's fantastic. I cannot wait to go shoot this. Well, let me know what you guys think, and I'm going to keep on working. I'll catch you guys on another video. Bye.